How should we interpret the Bible? What's the best way to understand those difficult passages of Scripture? Well, our understanding should not come from our personal interpretation, but from God's wisdom. And I think about that. I think about while many applications can be made from Scripture, there is but one truth. Let's look at today's email question as we examine this further. Hazel writes, As a Bible student, I found differences in the interpretation of the Bible extremely frustrating. If you ask five Bible scholars about a passage of Scripture, you'll often get five opinions. How can I discern the truth? Well, I certainly understand that because I think everybody faces that at some time or the other. And the question is simply this. We have to come to the Word of God with an honest, open attitude of what is God saying to us. And there are many honest, godly people who differ in their view of Scripture. And what we have to ask is this. What are the things that influence the way we come to the Word of God? You'd think it would be simple that all of us would come to it in the same way, but we don't. And one of the ways people come to the Word of God is through hand-me-down views of Scripture. You say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, for example, somebody says, well, what did my mother believe? What did my father believe? What did my grandfather believe? What did my family, how have they believed all these years? And we don't realize the tremendous influence that has in many people, especially if they belong to certain churches, the influence of hand-me-down ideas absolutely dominates their way they look at Scripture. Then, of course, there's denominational bias. People say, well, I'm a Roman Catholic, I'm a Baptist, I'm a Methodist, or whatever it might be, and so whatever they believe is what I believe. And then, of course, people look at the Scripture from their own personal needs and desires. And this is oftentimes dangerous because if I think I have a particular need that I want God to answer, it's easy, if I'm not careful, to read into the Scripture what is not there. So we have to be careful of that. Then, of course, your very view of God and of Christ and the Holy Spirit will influence the way you come to Scripture. If you see God as a judgmental God primarily, rather than a loving God, you're going to see some Scriptures one way or the other. And then, of course, when I think about scholars, their view of Scripture, oftentimes it depends upon whether a man is a conservative or a liberal. If he's a conservative, he's going to view the Scripture and he's going to interpret it a certain way. If he's a liberal, he's going to be just that more liberal maybe in the way they do it. So the question is this. When you come to the Word of God, the primary question is, what was the writer saying? And when Jesus speaks, what did Jesus mean? What was he saying? Now, some passages are much more difficult than others. No question about that. But remember this, that you and I are coming to the Word of God through the eyes of a person in the 21st century. And when we think about that, we're thinking about trying to interpret the Word of God honestly and openly. 2,000 years ago, what did they mean? What did they say? And therefore, there are some passages of Scripture the Church of Jesus Christ will never, never agree on. And of course, one of the most difficult ones and one of the most popular ones to illustrate this is this, the book of Revelation. Some of the godliest people I know are on both sides of the issue as to whether the Revelation was spoken uh, in those days to just those people, or is it a word of prophecy, as many of us believe? And so there are passages of Scripture that are difficult. For example, when Paul talks about that you and I were chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world, what does he mean by that? So the issue is this. Scripture should be studied honestly, prayerfully, openly. God, what are you saying to me? We want to know what he was saying to the people of those days, especially in narrations in the Old Testament. But the issue is this. What is God saying to me in this particular passage? Now watch this. Because all of us are different, and we have different needs at different times in our lives, what I may get from that Scripture today may not be what I got from it a year ago. Does that mean that I've misinterpreted? No. The Scripture is written for us written to them in those days, but also written for us so that God is going to speak through His Word to us what you and I need to hear at that particular time. We're to trust the Holy Spirit to guide us to interpret the Word of God according to the truth that it means, but primarily, and that is, God, what are you saying to me through this passage of Scripture? He will guide you if you will approach it from that perspective. 
Well, thank you for joining us today at In Touch. And until next time, obey God, leave all the consequences to Him. That's living life at its very best because that is the teaching of the Word of God.